All right, so there's actually four different bosses in this game that are completely OP and they are very, very good to get. And they are pretty much the most um, end game bosses that you're going to be able to get. Now, two of them are the same boss that you actually have to fight at the same time and you can capture them, but they are two different types. There's a dragon and there's also a different kind of like horse slash winged mount. Uh, boss as well so let's go through them all and show you exactly where they're located and how to get them so the first one i want to show you right here uh, near my base is this guy this is the jet dragon now this is by far one of the best mounts in this entire game because look how fast this guy is he is by far the fastest mount in the entire game now if you want something that's not a boss to be very quickly i do have a video on that but this guy is Probably one of the best end game bosses to get um, and he is pretty damn difficult to get so let's go ahead and show you where he is located. So if you go all the way to the left of the uh, map you're going to be in this volcano bit and the jet dragon is in the uh, far left of the entire map. Now this guy is definitely a difficult one to fight because his actual uh, chance of getting him captured is a bit buggy right now and even at level 50 and you have the final legendary sphere you still get like a 10 percent chance or even lower to capture this guy so make sure you are prepared and have all the spheres that you can possibly get to try to get this guy and on top of that if you do it so many times the bug will activate and causing him to die so make sure you do be careful upgrade your lift monk um, effigies make sure you use them and upgrade your capture rates the higher it is the better and um, by doing that, you just collect those green statue thingies that you've seen around the game. You have seen them by now. They're pretty much everywhere. And, and if uh, you yeah. are at level 50 like I am, I do highly recommend building the rocket launcher. It is very, very powerful. And it actually does sometimes knock the uh, bosses out, uh, which gives you a bit of time to kind of refresh and uh, quickly reload and start doing some extra damage. Now, if you have a weapon and a rocket launcher together, It'll be even better so you can knock them out and just start spraying them down with your weapons that's another trick that you could definitely do to try kill the jet dragon and uh, make sure you do try to capture this guy because he's so useful and very very good to just have overall the next one we're going to be going for is this guy called the frost stallion now he is pretty damn cool he kind of reminds me of like a pegasus a horse and eagle mix um so yeah definitely something that is worth going for the next boss we're going to be going after to try capture is this guy, the Frost Stallion. He is definitely a cool one to have. Now, this can be ridden as a flying mount and changes the player attack type to ice to enhance ice attacks while mounted. Now, this guy is definitely pretty cool. He's one of the bigger enemies or bigger creatures that you can have inside this game. And he is definitely something really pretty to even just look at and to have around your base. And um, definitely a good one to have in your collection as well. Now, this guy is actually located all the way at the top of the map, in the top left in the ice biome. Now, you are obviously going to have some cold resistance armor for this guy. And um, fire damage does extra, I think, to him. Don't quote me on that. But again, I just used the rocket launcher to try get him. And uh, I definitely did get him um, after a few attempts at the, um, the capture rate. Now, this guy, I don't think there is any bugs, but I'll show you one thing that can happen. <laughs> which kind of contradicts what i just said about no bugs um you can basically uh, throw him across the map and he will just yeah he will vanish and you won't be able to capture him um until you travel um away and travel back and he'll just respawn with full health again this happened to me twice when i got him basically near capture time so yeah definitely be careful with the frost stallion with the enemy um with the creatures that you're going to be using against them because i use the yormantide igni and he uses two tornadoes which basically just flung him across the entire map and also the jet dragon can sometimes glitch out with this guy where he just either one won't attack and two fling him across the map as well um i haven't had any issues with any other boss in this game where they just go flying across the map except for the frost stallion so that's another bug that i'm pretty sure happens um, with this guy quite often so be careful but he's definitely a pretty cool one to get and yeah um that's number two now for the next two bosses i actually only managed to capture one and the second one did not spawn in because of a weird glitch where if you kill the other one and teleport away 
the other one will be gone as well but this is the necromus okay this guy is actually pretty damn cool he is a dark creature that you could have and the other one his twin is actually called Paladus. now he has a shield and a um the, a, a sword type thing he is pretty cool as well now those two will spawn together okay so be careful with this battle a quick tip if you come here at night time the one of them will actually be asleep so you can fight one at a time instead of both at the same time i did them both at the same time i just used a rocket launcher once again they're not as difficult as the other ones because it's kind of like a bigger area and their attacks aren't the most damaging for some reason i feel like the jet dragon and definitely the Vostalian um are a bit harder than this guy but it's it's really how you um go about it and how you try to kill them i had no trouble with these guys i just ran out of ammo and i thought if i teleport away and come back the other one would still be here but it wasn't and yeah that's pretty much it for those guys definitely some pretty cool bosses the boss fights in this game are really really good and i really enjoy them can't wait with the new update and see exactly what they do with raid bosses and uh, more pals more technologies and more islands and just to see exactly how far they go with this game and the creatures and the boss battles that we're going to be getting anyway um further in some recommendations that i definitely do recommend you guys having for these boss battles one of them is a rocket launcher two is some pretty good armor with a lot of resistance against um just overall damage um a good mount and a couple of weapons definitely your legendary spheres have those ready as well um a flying mount a good shield make sure you have a good shield a hyper shield will be perfect go in there with some meds and a lot of weapons and make sure you do have those legendary spheres on point because the way that this game works and the higher bosses require so much uh, spheres it's actually ridiculous but that's pretty much it for this video hopefully this helped and i will see you guys on the next one make sure you let me know which bosses that you guys want to have I definitely really, really like the Jet Dragon just because it makes so much things easier. And that's pretty much it for this video.